Hello all. In this particular tutorial, we will learn how to perform the DB2 version upgrade and downgrade. This particular tutorial is done from on version 11.1. .1. So from version 11.1, we'll be upgrading to version 11.5 and then we'll be downgrading it back to 11.1 .1 again. And all of this particular exercise it is performed on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.5. There are multiple methods on how you can perform the upgrade. The typical approach that we all follow is we will install the DB2 binaries in different location on same server. Then we will perform the upgrade instance and then we will upgrade the database. If we use this particular method, the rollback is difficult. The second approach which is safe approach and i'll not cover this particular approach because this is a very simple approach is we will take the backup of the database and we will restore that particular database on a different server when we restore it definitely we will make sure that we have already installed the higher level version or 11.5 so we can restore 11.1 .1 version database directly into 11.5 that works and when we do that the rollback is easy we just have to shut down the the new instance on the new server and we have to turn the old instance on the old server and but with this approach there is a challenge the host name will change you can change the host name after the db2 is installed however that is a bit complicated so the the rollback is easy in the second approach however in this approach we will we will we have to involve the application team it won't be a transparent to application team and every every application or every every person who connects to the database now has to change the settings at the client level so although this is safe approach it's not widely used we use this approach i'm not saying we don't use this approach we use this approach for mission critical databases where we want to make sure that our database can be uploaded up, upgraded and we have a safe rollback so we do this we definitely follow this approach but not most of the time the one of the best approach is if your databases are small you can use the backup and restore what you can do is you can create a new instance and you can restore so you have old instance with old database and you have upgraded instance with new database and both are on the same server if you use this particular approach then the application side there are no changes from the application side it's all transparent to the application team so i will cover the method one and method three these are the two methods that i will cover remember that you cannot upgrade specific databases either it's all the databases in the instance or it's none there is no way the db2 allows you to upgrade a specific database leaving the other databases at the older version basically you upgrade the instance so remember you do not upgrade the database you upgrade the instance and once you upgrade the instance if there are any databases which are not upgraded you cannot connect to them they are basically useless you can definitely leave them as at, at that particular level but they you cannot connect to them so if you want to upgrade specific databases within instance there are other ways which i have mentioned such as backup and restore but if you go with a typical typical approach then you have to upgrade the entire instance so my environment looks something like this as i mentioned i have got rail 8.5 the current version is db2 11.1 the target version is db2 11.5 so from 11.1 we'll be moving to 11.5 there are two instances dbp and dbs the dbp instance we will be upgrading that particular instance the database in dbp is test p the p p and the test s is the database which is present in dbs so the ending letter matches to the instance name so test p is the database in dbp test s is the database in dbs and this particular tutorial is recorded on virtualbox 6.1.3.0 so as i mentioned there will be two instances instance one which we will be upgrading the dbp which will be upgrading the database is test p the instance two dbs will not be upgrading however we will still upgrade the database and the question that you will ask is 
how are we going to upgrade the database without upgraded instance so that thing i will cover when we reach to that particular section so this is what we are going to achieve so to install so first thing that i'll do is i will show you the my environment so if i run if i run the db2 ls command you can see that i got one version installed the 11.1.2 so that is the current version and if i go to the instance home directory of this particular version and if i run db2 i list then you can see there are two instances dbp and dbs and under dbp there is a test p under dbs there is a test s there is one database under dbp one database under dbs okay so what we are going to do is first thing that we need to do is we need to install the db2 so that is the first thing so i will extract the database software and so let me do that so what i'll do is instead of doing this all one by one so first thing is extract then we are going to go to this extracted so we i'm going to extract to this location under that it will get extracted to this particular directory and i'm going to verify if my os my operating system current operating system is compatible so using the db2 prerequisite check this particular prerequisite check you will be able to find under the ser server desk so what i'll do is like i will put one more command here so ls minus l i'll show you that this particular utility binary is present under the extracted files so we will run this particular utility so that's all we are going to do so let me do that so as a root i'm going to do that so cd clear so i'm going to go so first thing is extract extract is happening so once the software is extracted we will go to this particular directory then i will show you that under that okay so it's already gone and you can see there is a directory called db2 prerequisite check so that particular directory we are checking using the db2 prerequisite check version 11.5.7 does it meet, meet this particular version and you can see the db2 prerequisite check utility has confirmed that all installation prerequisites are met so that's good news so the current os so i have not showed you the current os host name ctl as i mentioned this is red hat linux red hat enterprise linux 8.5 the current os is compatible so we have extracted the software the next part is we are going to install so we do not have to install the database in opt you can install wherever you want it's your choice so my preferred location is this so i'm going to install so i'm going to create the directory and i'm going to install the database software in this particular location so that's what i'm going to do so let me clear the screen and let me run the db2 install server and this is where i'm going to install the database software so accept the license yes do we need pure scale no and now the the right now the as you can see the db2 installation is being initialized the db2 installation is going to take some time so i'm going to pause the video and come back once the db2 is installed so the installation is completed however it says we got some warnings so it's time to review the warnings what warnings we got so let's review the warnings so all of that is success all of that is success success okay so installing pc maker so the some of the libraries which were required for pc maker or pacemaker are not there that's why the pacemaker is not installed which is fine because we are not going to do anything with the pacemaker so that's okay and if we require pacemaker we can definitely install it at a later point in time so i'm going to ignore that particular warning so now we can see we had 11.1.2.2 so now if i run db2 ls command you can see that now i have got 11.5 so we have 11.1.2 2.2 and 11.5.7 so from this particular version we are going to upgrade our databases to 11.5 so 11.1 to 11.5 that's what we are going to do in this particular access so let's and i want to again highlight our both of these our instances are in this particular binary so if i go to the the instance 
and if i run the db2 i list we can see that we have two instances under 11.1 .1. and if i go to 11.5 and if i do pwd now i'm under 11.5 and if i run db2 i list you can see that there is no instance present in 11.5 so what we are going to do now that we have successfully installed the newer version we are going to perform some of the pre-checks remember that never ever skip the pre-checks these are very important and if you need to roll back you need all of this particular information for your rollback so i will repeat never ever skip the pre-checks in your production environment so what we are going to do is we are going to capture the db2 version we are going to capture the database manager configuration we are going to ca capture the db configuration so repeat this particular line for every database in that instance we are going to capture the registry variable we are going to capture the license information node directory database directory client configuration using the db2 cf export utility db2 support try to take the offline backup but if not online backup is fine verify that the backup that you have taken is valid using the db2 ck backup repeat this particular commands for every database so you have multiple databases take the backup of every database and verify that particular backup and repeat this particular line for every database so this what i have done is i have created a small script for this so this is the script so exactly same thing whatever whatever i have mentioned is exactly what i'm going to do so let me go to the the dbp instance that we are trying to upgrade so dbp i've logged in db2 level you can see that it is 11.1 .1, and this instance along with the database which is present in this particular directory which is test p we are going to upgrade to 11.5 so let me start the instance and let me activate it which is already started let me activate the database so that's all good so we have done that so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this particular script this is nothing but this particular script so i'm going to take the level licm get dbm config and i'm going to store it with the information such as instance name the date when it is captured and what it contains so this is how i have created my script so this is you can create your own script but if you see the when we take this kind of backup it tells you which instance we have captured this information on what date and what is the level we can definitely get the date from the unix time but if somebody can modify that particular date so that's why if it's in the file name we can have that obviously you can rename the files also but yeah i just want to tell you that by looking at the date we, by looking at the file name you will be able to identify when that particular information is captured so let me let me create this particular script so vi prechecks.sh i'm going to copy this and you can see it's very simple script so it's captures all of this particular information before doing that let me go to this particular directory and you can see that under this particular directory that is absolutely nothing that's good and what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this and i'm going to make it executable so that's done i'm going to clear this and i'm going to run this particular file and that's done and if i now run ls minus l you can see that we have got all of these files the client configuration db2 level licm we will will not verify all of these files so i'll just verify one or two so maybe the registry variable so that's good the db config that's good the dbm config that's good so that's all good let me now verify the log the the backup log so let's see the backup is successful that's good the verification of the backup so image verification complete so that's also good so we have the backup the backup is completed and we have the check backup for that particular backup so that's also good the db2 support so let's what is this db2 support this is also a very important 
file so we can log in as a root or we can log in as the dbp so let me log in as the dbp open go to the directory where i saved that particular file so computer db d db2 backup under this you will find the db2 support so here you can see i do not know whether it is still running so yeah it's still running that's why that's why i do not have the let's give it a minute so okay so it's it will create a zip file so you can see it has created a zip file so let me go inside that particular zip file and here you can see db2 support.html so whatever information that we collected the so same information so let me make it slightly bigger same information such as the os level jcc version the db configuration the nodes configuration so if you can see the dbm configuration so if i click on here the dbm configuration the databases directories etc all of that particular information is already captured so you can use so if you have missed one of one or two from collecting manually the db2 support will collect the other information so that's all done so the pre-checks part is done now we are ready to upgrade our instance and the database we have what we have done till now is we have just installed the instance sorry uh, we have just installed the new installation all both of our instances are still running under 11.1 so now is the time to upgrade our instance and database so before actually upgrading let me just show it to you so let me connect to the database and show it to you that my database the instance dbp is running at 11.1.2.2 this particular information comes from sys ibm adm environmental environment instance info so this is the view that i have used environment instance info this is the view that i've used to get the service level so that's all done so what we are going to do is we are going to run the db2 ck upgrade utility the db2 ck upgrade utility can be found under the installation the we have to run this particular utility from the new binaries not from the old binaries because we are checking whether our database is is ready to the, be upgraded so under the bin you can see there is a utility called check upgrade so what we are going to do is we are going to run this and before running this make sure your database is in is not active otherwise it is not going to get the logs it's going to not get the logs so i'm going to force the application deactivate the database and what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the db2 ck upgrade utility just to verify that our database is ready to upgrade so the database db2 ck upgrade utility completed successfully the database or databases can be upgraded and remember that we have to run this particular utility from the new binary not from the existing the current instance is at 11.1 and we have run this from 11.5 so that's all good so we have verified that the database can be upgraded now it's the time to stop the instance so that's all done so we have stopped the instance and once all of that is done we will go login as a root user because the db2i upgrade command we have to run it as the root user and we will specify the fancy username and the instance owner and the db2i upgrade command can be found under the instance directory and remember we have to do this particular command from the new binary that we have installed so let me go to this particular directory and let me run this particular command so i'll do that but before doing that i need to log in as the root so let me that's done so now i'm logged in as a root so i've gone to the 11.5 instance and i'm running db2 i upgrade command so that's done so this particular command is going to take some time so once this is done what is going to happen that one of the instance so under this if you remember there were two instances and now if if i run the db2 i list then you should be able to see that one of the instance dbp is no longer part of the 11.1 .1. so now if i go to 11.5 and if i run the db2 i list you can see the dbp is now part of the 11.5 so that's all done so the execution completed successfully so i upgrade is completed so let me clear the screen and let me log in as the instance owner let me run the db2 level 
and we should be able to see that dbp instance is at 11.5.7 so the database that is if you remember that was one database under this instance which is sp so now what we'll do is we will try to connect to the database and let's see what error we get so before doing that i forgot to start the instance which i've done now and let me try it and the connection failed because the database product has been upgraded and the database is not upgraded so the, we upgraded the instance but we did not upgrade the database and that's why we got this particular error so now what we are going to do is we are going to run db2 upgrade db test p so we are going to upgrade the database so this particular command once it is completed we are going to run the db2 connect to test p and then we are going to verify that our instance is really our database is really upgraded so let me copy this let me wait for the upgrade command to complete it's going to take some time let's give it a minute i'll not pause the video i'll just keep it running let's see how long it takes maybe that's done so now it's a good time to connect so the command that failed connect test you can see the command that failed here that command is successful now it shows that it is at 11.5.7 and now if i run the the service level from sys ibm adm environmental instance info view so let's do that and we can see we have successfully upgraded the database to db2 11.5.7 so the upgrade part is done so once the upgrade is done we have to perform some of the checks so what are the steps that we are going to do is we need to bind some of the utilities we need to bind such as db2 schema bind u bind cli list etc this particular bind files you will be able to find under the sql lib instance home sql lib bind so we will run this bind commands if we have explained tables we will migrate them and we will mention which schema we are going to migrate which schema the explained tables are present the we will try to rebind the packages so using the db2 r bind we will rebind the packages we will revalidate if there are any invalid objects we will revalidate them we will check if there are any invalid packages using the syscat packages valid is equal to n will give us any invalid packages if there are invalid objects we will check them as well if there are any errors we will take verify those errors by verifying the db2 diag.log now also once all of this is done try to take an offline backup which will be your first backup after the successful upgrade is completed so if anything happens like if there was some test that application team wanted to do but it was just a test and they don't wanted it to be permanent you can roll it back to this particular database backup so that's all good so what i've done is i'm going to run this particular command so let's go let me connect to the database which i have already done so let me let me run the let me go to the sql lib bind directory and let me run all of those three commands the schema bind u bind and cli list so that's all good so let's run these commands and let's see if we get any errors so this is the schema bind that's happening that's done so schema bind successful without any warnings or errors the the u bind completed with some of the warnings this we can safely ignore this particular table gets created at the runtime so this particular table is not present and hence the error which we can ignore and the cli list is completed successfully that's all good so that's all good so now what we are going to do is we are going to now verify if there are any invalid packages in our database so as you can see 23 records which means close to 23 packages are invalid the next command is are there any invalid objects so we are going to run the syscat invalid objects and you can see there are 36 invalid objects so that's good so what we are going to do now is we are trying to do the r bind however the r bind is going to fail the reason of that so i'll show it to you so r bind errors detected because of the invalid objects which are present in the database the r bind has failed 
So what we'll do now is we are going to revalidate all the packages. So that's done. I'm going to run sysproc admin revalidate db object. So that's return status is equal to zero. And the the rbind command that failed. So I'm going to rerun it. I'll change the log name to two. And you can see rebind the errors that we got is gone and now it is successfully rebind so remember we have to do the r bind after doing the revalidate of the object so that's all done so now the next part is we are going to check if there are any invalid packages so remember we got 23 invalid packages so you can see zero so all the packages are valid and let's see if there are any invalid objects we had 36 invalid objects and we will and we can we do not have so at this moment we have successfully upgraded we have successfully and we have to take if we want to take we can take a safe backup at this moment which will be the first backup after our successful upgrade so that's all good so now we have we have already seen this now we are at the step where we are going to now is the time when we learn how to downgrade the instance so for some reason the upgrade is successful however the application team is facing the issues and they have requested you as a dba to downgrade the instance or the database remember one thing there is there is no direct downgrade for the database upgrade so you cannot actually downgrade the instance end of the story there is no way you can downgrade the instance so what you are going to do is you are going to drop the database you are going to drop the instance you are going to recreate the instance from old path so old binary restore the database and that is why it is very important that you should take the backup before the upgrade online or offline it doesn't matter you can use any kind of backup so then you will apply the dbm configuration db configuration and registry settings and remember that as part of pre-checks we collected all of this information so i will not show you all of this what i'll do is i will just show you how to perform the downgrade so let's till let's go with it so let's now what we need to do is we we are at okay let's let's verify one more time so let's verify that we are really at version 11.5.7 so let's do that so this is dbp db2 get instance the database is h test p and it is at 11.5.7 so now we are going to downgrade this particular database and the instance so let me let me deactivate the database first so let me terminate if there are any connections force those connections then i'm going to stop i'm going to drop the database which i have to do first I need to deactivate the database that's done so i'm going to drop the database that's done list db directory should show that there is no database at all that's good stop the instance that's good so now we have done all of this so we have we have dropped the database and stop the instance so what we now we have deactivated the database drop the database and stop the instance so now as a root user we are going to drop the instance so from the new binary we are going to use the db2 i drop and from the old binary we are going to create the instance so let's do that and we have to do this as a root user so let's do that so let me go as a root that's good so now i'm going to do is i'm going to run db2 i drop so i'm dropping the instance and here you can see now the db2 i list command there was one instance dbp under 11.5 that instance is dropped so db2 i list shows nothing and under the old instance if i run the db2 i list you can see the dbs command there is one instance dbs so what we are going to do so that instance is dropped we are recreating the instance under the old path so let's do that so let me now run the i create from old path 
version 11.1 so that's done so i've initiated the db2 i create that's going to take some time so let's verify so till now there is only one instance give it a minute for the new instance to appear so let's run db2 i list once again and you can see now under the old path the version 11.1 the dbp has appeared however that particular dbp is still does not have any database so now let me connect to the instance verify that it is at the old level definitely it is at the old level you can see the dbp is now pointing to version 11.1 so it is at version 11.1 db2 list db directory shows that there is no database at all it's empty so what we are going to do now is we are going to start the instance and we are going to restore the database so we might have to run the we might have to run the the roll forward maybe one or two times so let me let me run the restore so we this is the backup that we took so i'm going to say restore the database and when i'm restoring i'm extracting the logs because we took the online backup so i'm going to extract the logs so i have specified the log target parameter so restore is happening right now once the restore is done let me try to roll forward so first i'm going to say end of logs and stop and i'm going to use the the parameter which i specified the log target in the overflow path so i'm going to take this particular command let's see if the restore is completed the restore is completed let me try to do the roll forward and let's see if the roll forward is successful or not the roll forward has reached an upgrade operation in the logs if we get this particular error then what we need to do is we need to run the roll forward command once again however we need to now use the stop operation so let me modify this particular command and run the roll forward command and that's completed successfully let's activate the database sorry sp and that got activated let me connect to the database that's good and you can see it is at 11.1.2 and now if i run the if i run the environmental inst info then you can see that our database is now pointing to 11.1.2 so this is the way we are going to roll back our database so drop the database drop the instance recreate the instance from old path restore the database taken before upgrade and this changes whatever changes that we captured we need to apply it back so that we create we set our dbm db and registry variable as it was before upgrade so that's all good so we learned how to do the downgrade so now what i mentioned is i have as i i have already another instance called dbs so let's play with the dbs so what i'm going to do is there is one database so let me go to that particular instance so db our work with dbp is done so let me we have upgraded it we have downgraded it so now we are going to upgrade the database within the dbs so let's 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 not confuse let's go let me go to the dbs under this let me start the instance if it is not already it's already started under this you will see there is a database called test s and this is also running 11.1 so what we are going to do is i'm not going to upgrade the instance i'm going to just upgrade the database so how am i going to upgrade the database without actually upgrading the instance and that is where i will explain so this particular method works so we are going to use the backup and restore on the same server this is the one of the best approach you can follow to upgrade your database this particular approach works fine when the databases are small this particular approach is the best approach because the rollback is just two steps the rollback is just two steps so let's let me prove that to you so what we need to do is we need to install the db2 binaries in different location on same server which i have already done for the method one so i'm not going to install again however there is no instance under that directory so if we can if i run this particular command and if i run db2 i list there is no instance so what we are going to do is we are going to take the backup of 
the database from existing instance we are going to stop the existing instance we are going to create a new instance we are going to set the dbm config parameter to the same value as old instance which we stopped we are going to start that instance we are going to restore the backup that we took here to the new instance and when we are going to we are going to activate the database and you will see that no changes from application point if we have to roll back this particular method we just have to stop the new instance and start old instance so let's do that so let me think my let think my command prompt as the think my command prompt as the application so let's do something let me let me connect to the instance connect to the database user dbs using password so let me connect to the so that's done so i've connected to the linux box it is at 11.1.2 i can run this particular query sys ibm adm and one meter instance info and it says it says that this particular instance is at 11.1.2.2 and the database is at 11.1.2.2 so what we are going to do is i'm going to take the backup so let me go to the existing instance so that's i already in that existing instance so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the offline backup online backup is also fine whatever you want to take you can take offline backup online backup for and i'm going to keep a note using the get dbm config i'm going to keep the note of the service name parameter which we are going to use to set it in the new instance so and then i'm going to stop the instance and i'm going to change the permission for this particular because the new instance has to restore this so that's why i'm going to change that so let's do that so let me run all of these commands together in the new instance so i've deactivated the database okay so that's did not work okay so actually i tried to deactivate test actually i should have deactivated test test but i aware that's okay because the offline backup is successful the service name it's 5002 i'm going to change the the permission of the backup to 777 so that's all done so we have stopped the instance all good so now if i try to connect i'll launch another window and if i try to connect to the database i should not be able to connect so let me copy this because we have Stop the old instance so let's see that and you can see we should get the communication failure so you can see we got the communication failure as expected so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go as the root user and i'm going to create a new instance called dbt okay so remember that instance is only for the dbas in the application world they do not need to bother about the about the instance so instance is a value which is very internal to the server it has no meaning outside the db2 server the application team doesn't care about the instance name all that they care is the name of the database and the port you never have to provide the instance name to the to the application team so that's all done so we created a new instance so now if i run db2 i list from so then you can see a new instance and we are under 11.5 so i created a new instance so that's all done so what i'm going to do now i'm going to log in as the new instance so let me log in as the new instance and let me set some of the parameters such as the default db path where the database and service name to the port exactly same as the old instance remember old instance is stopped so it's not going to conflict so i'm going to do that and i'm going to run all of these commands together so i'm going to update it update the service name set the db2 com to tcp ip start the instance create a directory for the log archive and remember i'll show it to you so let's do all of this together so that's done that's done i've tried to start the instance that's done make directory that's done and i'm going to now restore the test as from the backup that we took new log path i'm going to specify the new log path because the old log path is still the old database is still there we have not dropped it so that particular database so i'm going to restore it to the new log path and i'm going to save without rolling forward because we took the offline backup if we take the online backup we have to use we cannot use without rolling forward remember that so that's done so now the database is getting restored now important thing let me let me say this to you very important 
this step is going to take slightly longer time than your normal restore because it will do two things for you it's going to restore the database and it's going to upgrade the database so this particular image is of the version 11.1 so this particular test as database is from the version 11.1 and we are restoring this particular version this particular database into version 11.5 so i'll show it to you db2 level okay before showing it to you you can see the database was restored and then successfully upgraded so the restore command did two things it actually restored it and then it upgraded it so if i run the db2 level it is 11.5.7 so now if i try to connect from the application let's do that so let me connect to the test s and you see here it was 11.1.2.2 now i will try to connect to the same database so this is my application i have not done any changes at the application level so let's do that so let's done and you can see now from 11.2.11.1.2.2 it is at 11.5.7 so our database is successfully upgraded and upgrade is done using the backup and restore so now okay now what Okay, let me run the let me run the CSI ABM ADM to verify. So now instead of DBS, we should be in the DBT instance. So let's do that. Let me prove it to you. So we can see that now we are under the different instance and our version is 11.5.7. So now you'll ask me how to do the rollback for this particular database, and it is very, very simple. You just stop the new instance so we are we are going to stop the dbt and we are going to start the dbs and we will run the same queries once again so let's do that so let me stop the instance so db2 stop force so that's i'm doing that so that's done let me log in as the dbs instance the old instance the level you can see it is at 11.1.2.2 let me start that particular instance that's done let me go to the application and i'm going to connect to the database once again and i got connected successfully so you can see from 11.5.7 i have downgraded my database to 11.1.2.2 using just two commands stop the new instance start the old instance and now if i run the if i run the this particular query you can see that now my database is 11.1.2.2 so now this is the safest approach if we if i want to bring up the new database i will just stop the old instance and start the new instance remember that once you do all of this you apply the dbm config parameters and all of those parameters changes etc etc but this is the most safe approach this is the backup and restore where we created a different instance and set the same port to the to the new instance and we can just switch between the old version and new instance and roll back it's just two commands we don't have to drop the database restore the database etc this approach is not good approach when your database size is big or you do not have the storage allocated on your server but this approach works fine when your databases are small with this particular explanation i will stop this particular tutorial we in this particular tutorial we learned how to perform the version upgrade and downgrade we upgraded the version 11.1 to version 11.5 and we also downgraded the instance back to version 11.1 and this particular setup was done on rail 8.5 if you like this particular video do like do hit the like button whatever it is the like button like my video thank you for watching and if you like the content that i'm uploading to my channel if you like the videos that i'm uploading to my youtube channel do subscribe to my channel and and stay tuned for the next tutorial Till then, I will say bye-bye and see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye and enjoy your time. Thank you for watching.